Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Ships of Naval Action. Today we're going to take a look at another premium ships that you can get in Naval Action. Today it's time for the Santa Ana. The Santa Ana in Naval Action is based on two ships at the, of the Trafalgar fleet. The Rayo or the San Pedro Apostol and the Santa Ana. However, the, the one in Naval Action it's actually a bit different than that. But I'll cover that when we get to her in Naval Action. But for the history of the Santa Ana we'll use this as a base and cover those two ships. So let's begin with the Rayo. So the Rayo was an 80 gun ship of the line of the Spanish Navy constructed in 1747 in Havana, Cuba. Which a lot of ships did including the Santissima. The only really interesting thing that would happen to the Rayo would be just ferrying of people including the Infanta Dona of Luisa Maria Teresa de Parma which was daughter of Felipe the first, the Parma, and pick up the Princess Maria Luisa of Spain. In 1769 she was disarmed and stationed at Cadiz for just essentially preservation and this would last until 1803 where she would be rebuilt and as the Spanish did a lot, including with the Santisma again, she would be upgunned to a hundred gunner so her third deck were joined together and guns were placed on that. As a 100 gunner, she would two years later participate in the Battle of Trafalgar, where the Rayo was dismasted and she would be set ablaze by the British sailors on the 31st of October after being grounded during the storm of the 26th of October, which wrecked a lot of ships following the battle. The other ships the devs claim the Santa Ana is based on is, of course, the Santa Ana. The Santa Ana, she was a second rate ship of the line designed by Spanish naval engineer Romero Landa. Santa Ana was launched in 1784 and she was apparently a very good ship, people loved her, so a whole fleet or a whole class was made out of her. And the Santa Ana as well would also face in the Battle of Trafalgar, which would fight against the HMS Royal Sovereign. And she was captured by the British. She was later recaptured however by the Spanish and she spent the rest of her days at Havana Harbor and on the Caribbeans. So in short, that is the Santa Ana, Ana's history based on two ships, the Rayo and the Santa Ana. What is she in naval action? We will start with what ship she is based on. In naval action, she is based on Christian den Zivende. She has the exact same hull shape. She is the exact same ship with different decoration, which honestly is a bit disappointing. Actually, I lied. It's very disappointing. So. She is just Christian Den Sievende with a new skin. I have already had a video on Christian Den Sievende. I recommend you watch her. But here we will compare Christian Den Sievende and Santa Ana to kind of give perspective. So Santa Ana, she is a 90 gun ship of the line. You can carry 36 pound cannons, 32 pound cannons, 12 pound cannons or 42 pound carronades on the top two decks. On the bottom deck was the 36 pound cannons and the 32 pound cannons. So a solid armament. The Christian, a bit different. She has 42 pounders cannons on her bottom deck, 24 pounders on her middle gun deck, and the same on the two upper gun deck. So the real difference is the bottom two gun decks in terms of armament. And that's basically the only difference. Speed is identical, damage is identical, crew is identical. It's 850 men, I believe. 840, my mistake, off by 10 as a base. They are identical. They look identical, except for the decoration. So what is really the point of the Santa Ana? You can just get the Christian Christian Don Sivne and have exactly the same ship. The only difference is 36 pounders and 32 pounders, which I will admit it does have an advantage in long range firepower. Since 32 pounders will carry that energy a lot farther and it is stronger against bigger ships, I guess. But really the damage, it's not really, it's not really there. You have the 42 pounders, of course, on the Christian Den Sievende to kind of make up for that. So th th there isn't much difference. You have the same chase guns. You have practically exactly the same ship. And don't get me wrong, the Santa Ana, it's it's not a bad looking ship, I think. But the Christian Den Sievende is just a lot better looking, I think. And it's free. The Santa Ana, it's 46 bucks. And what is it? It's a paint job. That's it. I'm sorry. I'm kind of struggling to like see like. What's the point? You know. Just get Christian Den Sievende. The Santa Ana. She, she, 
for 45 euros, 46 euros right now. Don't bother, you, it's a waste of money. That's, I'm sorry, it is. There are, there are better ships to buy for 46 euros from naval action. Like you could get something more unique. Like you could get the Leopard, she is more unique. Is she worth it? No, I don't think so. Honestly, is any ship really worth it? I don't think so, but that's a different discussion. So yeah, don't get her, just get Christian and Sivina. You can find her in-game, you can have someone build her. So, thank you all for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!